Hey, greetings, my space explorer. Today, we're going to embark on a cosmic journey to explore the wonders of space and astronomy and homeschooling. I'm going to discuss the history of space exploration, um, us NASA making the first man on the moon, be available for us all to learn from, you know, milestones that we've had in space travel. We went from, you know, multiple uh, rockets being used to single person uh, flights to the moon and outer space and just other exciting, you know, discoveries about our universe. Um, some tips that you can do with homeschooling is stargazing. You know, you can also identify constellations with your homeschooler and observe celestial phenomena such as meteor showers, eclipses, and planetary alignments together. The universe awaits our discovery. Continues to stay tuned for more homeschooling tips. Hey, hey, my eco-conscious homeschoolers. Let's take some action to, to uh, go ahead and protect our planet by engaging in environmental or conservation projects. You can go ahead and you know figure out ways that you can reduce waste at home, even you know by conserving resources and recycling, and just promoting sustainability throughout you know your eco-friendly practices at home and in your community. You go ahead and explore local conservation projects, wildlife rehabilitation uh, centers or you know just environmental organizations that your homeschoolers can support as well as participate in together we can really make a difference for our planet so continue joining us for more homeschooling wisdom okay now it's time to really reflect on the month that has gone by and we're going to dive into a Q&A session where I can answer your burning questions about homeschooling uh, and I'd like you guys to ask me you know questions and as well as reflect on your homeschooling experiences throughout the month you know share your achievements or your challenges and you know just submitting your questions and providing insight really helps us all and is a helpful resource to all of us that are homeschooling your questions they do keep us learning so continue joining us for this special wrap up and farewell to march as March has come to the end, let's wrap up the month's homeschooling journey and express our gratitude. And I'll do that by thanking you guys for just being a part of this wonderful community. Some key learnings that we did throughout the uh, month has really helped a lot of us. And, you know, there's been some favorite moments. And your valuable insights that you share throughout this month's content um, has been very helpful. And I hope the things that I've shared with you and how to help your homeschoolers be more interactive and engaging in your homeschooling uh, lessons has helped you as well. Your engagement, contributions, and support during this month has been so helpful. And next month's content and themes will really keep you excited. I want to keep you on the edge for that and just get, stay engaged. Now, thank you again for such an amazing month of learning and growth, but join us in April for more adventures in homeschooling and don't forget to like and subscribe.